Hello all. Uh, in, in this in this uh, clip, I want to go through the process of installing ENSP, the newest version of ENSP. ENSP is no longer going to be developed because we shall shift all our practices to be our e cloud, our uh, e lab on our e cloud. So there is a, a series of software as I uploaded to the Telegram channel, ENSP and uh, VirtualBox, uh, WinPickup and Wireshark. So the first thing you want to do is uh, install WinPickup. I want to run it, run it as an administrator and see what happens. Uh, this is straightforward install, so I'll just click next, next, next time finish. Yes, that's WinPickup installed. And after WinPickup, I want to install Wireshark. I have here Wireshark for Windows 64 bit. You can get the one of Windows 32 bit from uh, the website. I'll also run it as an administrator and proceed with the uh, with the instructions. Now, I already have Wireshark installed here, and I have actually a newer one installed, so I'm going to skip Wireshark. Uh, if you don't have it installed, it's just the next, next, next process up to the end. Wireshark doesn't have any problems. Because I have Wireshark installed here, uh, I don't need to uninstall this. I could click here and uninstall the previous one, uninstall, but you know, this is a newer version of Wireshark and the one I'm, I'm having here, so I'm going to leave Wireshark. Uh, after we pick up on Wireshark, you want to install VirtualBox onto uh, your machine. So this is Oracle VirtualBox, it's a hypervisor and uh, we, uh, yeah, ENSP needs it to virtualize the routers and firewalls and access controllers because there are virtual machines running on some uh, custom developed Linux uh, that has been written to simulate the functionalities of those different devices. So uh, here I have version 5.2.32 and all that nonsense to EXE. You might be having a five point something else uh, and depending on whether it works or not, but let us see what this uh, gives us. So, uh, all right, installing that networking feature will reset your network connection and temporarily disable you, disconnect you from the network. I have no problem with that. I uh, will proceed <coughs> and install it. Now, just for uh, some clarity, let me provide uh, specifications of my machine here. Uh, this is uh, a Core 5 with 8 GB RAM, 64-bit uh, operating system, and you can see it's Windows 10 Pro 2020 second half, and it was installed in 2021. The build is 19.042. So uh, these are the specifications of, of, of the machine that I'm using for installation. I'm doing this because a number of are complaining about the installation of virtual box, particularly. So let's see how the process goes. When you try the latest version of VirtualBox, ENSP will fail to work because uh, of compatibility issues. ENSP has been written a few years back, and we decided to stop upgrading it because uh, we are switching. We want all people to be using uh, the eLab platform. So I don't want to start it. Uh, let me finish. And finally, uh, please install those programs in that order. Finally, I'll install uh, ENSP, and I'm going to run it too as administrator. Let's see what we get. Um, it's no more installation really, but ENSP will check whether these three programs are installed. It, it will check whether VirtualBox, WinPickup, and uh, Wireshark are installed. That's why it's important that you start with those ones. And WinPickup is necessary for Wireshark, that's why it's important you start with WinPickup before Wireshark. So you preferably use the ones that have been abused. And as you can see, one it is detected that WinPickup has been installed, two it is detected that Wireshark has been installed, and three it is detected that VirtualBox has been installed on the computer. So I can just proceed and install ENSP. All right, as you can see, uh, it has uh, installed successfully. I don't want to see the update log, but I want to launch ENSP, so we'll see whether it is working. And uh, 
launching ENSP should uh, take not a very long time. Uh, but again, this process will depend on the power of your machine. Uh, my machine is relatively weak, so it takes some time, takes its time. So yeah, this is ENSP, this is what it looks like. I want to maximize the screen. This is why the number of topo to topologies are already in ENSP for your own practice. But uh, to open a new file, you just need to click on this for new topo, and then you want the page that you've seen me in most of the demo videos I've been using. So before doing anything else in ENSP, you want to go to the menu and go to tools and choose register device and you get all these five categories of devices and uh, the access points, the access controllers, the, uh, the routers, the switch, and you register all of them. And you'll see this being registered. This is basically like uh, uh, setting up the devices in virtual box because these are going to be virtual box uh, machines running behind. That's why you need some relative amount of RAM to be able to run most of the simulations you're going to be running for our typical network environment. So once it uh, is done registering all of them, let me see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, we can exit. And once that is done, uh, you need to test with this guy here. This is uh, the most important device we shall be using, AR2220. You might also want to test with SC6005 and SC6605. So I'm going to start up all these. Uh, so that we see whether what we have done is really working. If any one of these SCs work, we are fine. If uh, if our A, if our router works, then we are fine as well. Uh, the switch normally almost every time works, and the hosts, the cloud, uh, all those things work. In security, we use the firewall a lot, and um, <coughs> uh, we are not going to be installing the firewall image in this ENSP because uh, we are not doing security and we are not going to use the firewall at any point of this class. We are going to be using simple security implementations in our switches and routers, port security and others. So uh, be sure to test the AR2220 and be sure to test uh, the SC because it's important. So these uh, hosts, the PC, the multicast, uh, the multicast service, uh, multicast server, the client, generic server, station, cell phones, most of those normally work. This is a frame relay switch that will not use in this class. The hub almost all, always works, the cloud works. And then connections for copper, for serial, and uh, the rollover cable or console cable, I want to mostly use. In this class, we shall use only copper and the rollover cable. So uh, those ones almost always work. The access points, 2050 and 4030, are the ones we shall typically use in this class, 2050, 4030, and maybe 4050. Uh, those ones almost all, always work and then the s5700 and s3700 always work so uh, for this let us see whether our router most importantly has worked sure it has worked and uh, we can see that we can change the name to router and do most of uh, the configurations we need display ip interface brief and there is no ip address configured on the router uh, when you look at our sc1 we can see that it worked system system name access uh, controller and you can see it has changed display uh, IP interface brief and you can see the commands were fine let's see our second access controller and you see this one is causing issues now when when a device uh, hashes for so long like this uh, sometimes it's because of the power of the machine sometimes you might want to disable the antivirus for firewall if it hashes for so so long and it's not going to this but you can see it has started at sc 6605 and i could go to the system view and then change the system name to new sc and you can see the name has changed and then i can say display ip interface brief sure all my machines have worked so again let us look at the specifications of my machine the specifications of my machine are uh, it's an i5 with 8 GB of RAM and 64-bit uh, operating system and, and a 64 uh, processor. The version is 20H2 and uh, the build is that one. When you're asking any problem regarding installation of ENSP or operation of those, please provide these details so we can guide accordingly. Um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, ENSP is up and running and we can do any of the labs that we need to do 